Hello, young lady. Hello. What nice do you to have be back. There? Yeah, it is good to be back. You, you've earned, a, earned another show tonight. Fantastic. Okay, okay, what do you got? Moving right on with Derek. The Giants are great. Oh, we love the Warriors. What did the 49ers do to create all the media negativity? Yeah, there's a lot of that stuff going on. I, I'll say it again. Giants, Warriors, I'm not with them all the time, but at the very least, they give off the vibe that they're happy to have people covering them. They seem to be, and I again, seem to be gracious. Jim Harbaugh, listen, when you win, you can do anything you want. But Jim and the 49ers, of course, with all their off the field problems, mm -hmm. too, and the move to Santa Clara, the vibe is not as pleasant. So if you take it as negativity, maybe you're right. But the Giants and the Warriors, whether they have to or not, seem to go out of their way to make sure everybody's comfortable when covering the team. And as I always say, media people are you know, sometimes victims of human nature. If you're nice to me all the time, mm -hmm. I'm more inclined to be nice to you. True. All right. This is true. Thank you. Okay. All right. Miles says, how in the world can Giancarlo Stanton live up to the $325 million contract Miami gave him? Yeah, he can't. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Good, so there's no pressure. No, then. there's nobody. But hey, listen, TV people, we're not worth it sometimes. <laughs> nobody's worth yeah. uh, It's just the idea that... Miami wants to get a new cable television contract. They obviously want to sell some more seats. But if you read this deal, there's an opt-out after six years mm -hmm. on both sides. So, hey, this guy hits a lot of home runs, but I've never heard anybody Ooh. say, hey, let's load up the kids. We've got to go watch Giancarlo Stanton play. I think but, he'll be cleaning up. Yeah, yeah, he was a home run hitter. All right, go. Okay, uh, Monty, the Stanford coach, David Shaw, skips out on the big game lunch, and you defend him. It says a lot about you. Well, thank you, Monty. It shows what a courageous man. Man I am, or do you think Monty was ripping me? Uh, I think that was a rip. That was a rip? Okay. <laughs> but you can take it the no, other way. No, even Mike Poe, my good friend. This guy skips out on it every year, and my point uh, for the ninth time, he wants to coach his team. The Sonny Dykes at Cal showed up. Sonny, this is only Sonny's second year here. Being a non-luncheon person myself, yes. if I'm in the middle of something and I'm concentrating, mm -hmm. I don't want to get in the car and drive two and a half hours sure. in the rain to be somewhere. So if it says something about me, I would hope I'm not as big a jerk as Dave came off as, but I, maybe I would have. No, I don't uh, know about that. Thank okay, you, righty, Monica, did you even mention Stanford's basketball upset of number one UConn? Well, get with it. Oh, Monica, don't you try that. That's the best basketball coach in the Bay Area, We'd Tara Vandeveer. Yeah. Had her on at least once or twice a year for as long as I can remember. Absolutely. So we were all over that story at 11 o'clock the other night. Okay. okay. And Marianne, I don't know if I love you or hate you. Then you think I'm doing something right. Well, Marianne. That's the same with you. You always thought like a real nice guy all the time was boring. 95% love no, no. and no hate. You no want hate. Fans the same way. You wanted the excitement of a guy that teased. Yeah. He's, oh, he's on edge. He, he's kind of a jerk, but I can tame him. Ah. That's what women like. Right, Pam? There you go. I